look at that one. That's got to be complete, you'd have thought. A beautiful, crushed example of a Harposterus ammonite. Hello everyone, thanks for joining me on another fossil hunting video. I've just pulled up to Salt Whitby Bay today, but a different plan. I'm going to walk left towards Whitby, Whitby East Cliff it's called, and then back over the cliffs. Hopefully there's some good finds knocking around down there. So I've come out to Saltwick Bay today. Usually I go right, but today I'm going to head left towards Whitby East Cliff. It's a bit of an underrated spot. It's quite busy. There's always the occasional rare little gem what will pop out of the cliffs. Hopefully a nice big hildy. That would be nice. So here's the very first find of the day. It's a pyrotized dactyloceros inside this rock. Quite heavy. And right next to it in the same area is this other one. This one's been wearing out for quite some time, but there's definitely another duck in there. That's off to a really great start there. Two nice ducks. So when you're out looking for fossils and you see a nice accumulation of shale like this, usually worth checking it out because although it's very rarely you can actually find something like you can collect, you'll see a lot of crushed fossils like this bivalve shell here. They're quite common in these shale slabs. Although the sea does break them down fairly quickly. So here's a nice example of a bellamite. Quite a small example and the very tip is just missing. But like I said that is very common with these because they're so brittle and they've got natural fractures. You can see one there. Eventually this will just break up. I have created a group on Facebook where people can share pictures and videos of their fossil finds from the Whitby area. I want it to be a friendly group for people to get help with their fossil hunting and also receive identifications on their finds. I would love to see you all join. I'll put a link in the video and also in the comments. Thank you. Just climbing over here when the tide's not fully out. You can see it's still hitting the base of the cliff there. But it's this sea growth, moss, whatever you call it, what makes it very, very slippy. So if you've not got good grip on your feet, you will slide down to the bottom. Best take it very slowly. A beautiful crushed example of a Harposterus ammonite. For some reason the shell has turned red. Maybe that's just due to the amount of iron that's in the area that washes out of the cliffs. Or maybe that's natural. What a beautiful example. So the tides are not exactly ideal to get round this way, you just need to be very careful on these very slippery rocks. Usually I like to do it on a tide that's a little bit further out, but I fancied it today. If you do enjoy watching these fossil hunting videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you can see what else I find in the future. A tiny little sea urchin at the bottom of this rock pool. And I have just spotted what looks like a really nice dark. So you can see the keel poking out of the side right there. Oh yeah. Quite a small one for the size of a nodule. Still worth taking back. So there's quite a large looking ammonite inside here. I can see a very thin keel running around on the top. I'm going to give it a tap to find out exactly what it is. It was a really big outer whirl of a phyloceros ammonite. There is no middle, but it is literally just the outer whirl, what is preserved inside this nodule. Cool to see, but not a keeper. A real chunky boy there. Probably a catecholoceros looking at that keel. Should be perfect on the inside of that one. So I've just given this rock a tap and it had a nice looking Ragnarcone from a bellamite on the inside. That's the bottom of it. I would have gone all the way through the top. Bellamites were squid like creatures. So it's quite cool to find these. They are quite common though.
So I've just found something really good. A nice little ichthyosaurus bone block. So you can see a neural arch from a vertebra running through the top there. And that's the actual vertebra in place. And on the other side, you can see the exact same with a few little ribs there. So in the middle of there, there'll probably be I'd estimate three vertebrae. It looks exactly identical to something else that I've got at home, which I found probably two years ago now. I highly doubt it'll fit together and it wouldn't look right even if it did because this is quite warm this section. But it's always nice to find a bit of ichthyosaur bone on the Yorkshire coast. If you would like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. I've got loads of beautiful prepared ammonite specimens. I've also got fossil bone available for purchase worldwide. You can crack your own nodules and I've got some really rare ones coming up. So please take a look if you want to see them. There was an absolute corker here. Look at that beautiful keel of that ammonite there poking out. A nice dactyloceros example. Two war nodules here with signs of ammonites. I've not got the best hope for these because they're quite worn and usually around here they're a bit sticky. So I'll give them a tap and we'll see if anything is salvageable. So the very first one was a dud, but the second one has a really well preserved dactyloceros on the inside of it. Definitely worth taking this one back. No more tapping on the It's beat. worth tapping them just to see the quality and the rest I'll get prepared. So I've just spotted an absolutely corking looking pyrotize example. Look at that one. That's got to be complete, you'd have thought. Beautiful looking middle. Wow, yeah. That's a beaut. So I have just tapped this rock. There was absolutely no indicator. Although I can see now a little keel sticking out there, but I didn't see it at the time and the crack has run all the way around it taking some of the outer shell there but I don't know if it's going to be a good break or if it's going to be a dud but I'll put this one in the video just to show you exactly how they open sometimes look at that we've broken it although it was totally calcified in that middle there so I think that would have happened both ways if it had been prepped or cracked on the beach Quite surprised that I've not picked up a hildy today. Usually when I come round this way I get at least one hildy, but no, not today. Quite a few ducks though, which is always good. So from my experience, once you get round to this little bay, a lot of the ammonites seem to go away and you start seeing these huge slabs of sandstone. You don't really find any fossils in them, but you can get the occasional dinosaur footprint. And I'm sure plant material if you're lucky. When I get back home I'm going to show you an amazing ammonite find that I, that I found at this very side of Whitby. So definitely stick around to the end to see that one. So this is a really nice looking ammonite. Yes it's worn but usually these tend to split pretty well. Lovely looking keel. It's obviously rolled in from elsewhere because this is all sandstone up here. So I am nearing the end of the beach now. I was hoping for quite a lot of pebbles to be built up, but in fact it's really sandy. So I've not so I've not got much hope that I will find any more. Sand all over. I have enjoyed coming to this little spot. It's nice to have a change of beach to collect at. Hopefully you have all enjoyed it and I will see you all on the next one. Nice shape nodule in the sand. Looks empty though. I think while I'm up here I'm going to go for a walk along the uh, pier. don't recall ever going that way so might as well do it while I'm up this way at Saltwick.
Hi everybody, I am back up from the beach now. I'm going to go ahead and show you that lovely Pseudoleoceros. So here it is. You can see that it's a gorgeous looking nodule. Nice and round. Pretty much perfect. I did actually suspect it was a Hildy when I first found it. However, it's obviously a Pseudo. As you can see from the label. I'm going to go ahead and flip it round so you can see the Ammonite. And here it is. Gorgeous looking Pseudoleoceros. Beautiful pyrotized colours on these ammonites. My friend Malcolm has prepared this example for me. It's definitely the best one that I've ever found. He's done a beautiful mouth border on it and given it a bit of a bold out prep, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. I've just zoomed in quite a bit so you can hopefully see the gorgeous suture patterns on the ammonite shell. Absolutely brilliant detail on this example. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video and I will see you all on the next one.